So, any fans of the movie Suicide Squad here? If so, you might have the various Jared Leto, Joker, Harley Quinn, but not much else from Hot Toys. Well, today Soso Toys bring you a figure inspired by the character Katana. The artwork is just like the movie, with very loud and sharp color highlighting the title character. Here you got a profile of him carrying the two blades. Unboxing is also quite simple. Okay, you have the art sleeve, and then that's it. You have the figure, the hands, the two pair of blades. Not much to look at, but some decent quality though. Head sculpt is quite good for a third party figure. It has rooted hair, and they are nicely done. Honestly, I'm not too familiar with the actress Karen Fukuhara, thus cannot say much about the accuracy, but it captures her look. Although I wish they used a sadder expression in the movie instead of this neutral look. Soso Toys also sculpted her scars for Mukri accuracy. Well done. Costume is directly from the movie. Looks good, but her pants are made of pleather materials, so buyer beware. And her boots are one piece design, hence, not much end co articulation. There are also some nice details, like her knee pads and the graphics printed on her pants in Japanese character. There are also artwork on his satin like jacket. Typical Japanese style. The most tricky part of her costume must be the waist wrap. I've checked a social toys tutorial and added a personal touch. I find the wrap to be too thick, thus I would recommend you to twist it several times before you tie it together. That way it streamlines the wrap to a degree. And also once you uh, fold it over, you can wrap it up in the back. And also, it does not stay put for long. How does it look? I think Soso Toys have some of the better bodies for third party manufacturers, and it shows in the figure this time, as you got all the standard joints and articulation. Furthermore, I actually like their Lady Wrist Pack instead of the Hot Toys one, because they are much more easier to work with. Okay, let me pull the bay out to do a slashing pose. It's kind of tight with the shield, so be careful. Again, the wrist wrap became loose or about to become loose easily. So every time when I pose it, I touch it, I have to adjust it. It's very uh, pain sticking. Okay, it's a metal blade. I'll show you more details in the accessory session. And also, the pants are pleather. And then the put is one piece design, so you don't got a lot of articulation on the ankle. It's kind of hard to stand because of the lack of the ankle articulation. The torso, the torso is a rubberized torso with the neck, chest and waist joint. Quite articulated, I might add. See? The neck joint, you got good articulation. Okay. So let me try to put the blade in there. As all female figures, the joints, their arms are quite thin and fragile. So exercise caution when you are posing it. Be gentle. That's what I'm saying. Okay, now I have both hands holding the blade. Decent. Just adjust the wrap again, yeah. Okay, you pull the arm a little bit. Let me pull, pull it up to a slashing pose. And adjust the jack a little bit, because she has some big bust. Okay. That's about it. Looks decent. Okay. Again, just tighten up to be safe. I don't want it to fall off when I was posing it. Adjust the shield for a little bit. Yep, 
Yeah, I wish they do something about the waist strap. It's just, it's just take a lot of tension. Okay, how does it look? It's kind of hard for it to stand because the figure is so light, and then it tend to fall over. Just have to try to find the balance point. Now a ton of accessories this time, but some very nice one. First off, you have the standard Suzu Toys hexagon base with the katana graphics on the top and on the side. Some nice details. Then you have a pair of blades. First, you have the katana. Okay, with the shield. Nice details, nice coloring. Okay, it's kind of tight, so you might have to take some effort to pull it out. There you go. And once it's out, actually, I think the blade is metal. And they got some nice details there. You can see, on the blade itself. Quite a half and nice, a quality product. Let me just put it aside, it's because it's very hard to put it in the shield. Then the Soto. Okay, similar design, smaller sheath. This one's easy to pull out. You look at the blade, wow, all the details on the edge, just amazing. Again, both accessory is like made of metal, so a very nice piece you got there. Then we have the hand shapes. We have three pair this time. They are all glove hand shapes with a decent paint color. With the glove and the buttons. You have the pair of close fits, a pair to hold the katana. There you go. And a relaxed palm. And what I like most is that the wrist pack are more friendly than hot toys. Basically, you just squeeze it with a plier and you pull. Oops, one more time. And you pull. And there you go. Easy to work with. In summary, another quality offering from Suzu Toys, as it captured the title character perfectly, and also allowed collectors to complete their Suicide Squad. I like them a lot for the rooted head sculpt. It's very difficult to pull off and they pull off nicely. I also like the detail and accurate costume. And most of all, a very, very good price point for the figure. However, I find her waistband very tricky and even annoying at times because they became undone too easily. Only wish they could add some fastener like Valco or Mini Hulk to help steady it. Also, Social Toys used to include a pair of extra wrist pack, which they haven't for a while. So I hope they bring it back in the future figures. Overall, this is a worthy collection if Suicide Squad is your thing. So, until next unboxing, that's all folks.